I think we were the first group to ever use uh, GLP-1 receptor agonists in a clinical trial um, um, in patients with uh, type 2 diabetes, uh, and that was in 1999. If I remember correctly, the first drugs were marketed um, in 2005. Um, I might be wrong about that, but it's been a while since exenatide was first released. And, you know, having, I mean, literally being blown away how these drugs worked in clinical trials, um, I think our group has used a lot of GLP-1 receptor agonists. And I, I don't really know um, what the impact of that pattern of practice has been on our patients, uh, but I can tell you that early in my career, um, it was rare to have a patient with diabetes in their 70s or 80s that was doing well. Um, you know, we have lots of patients in their 80s and 90s doing well today. Certainly part of the credit goes to better cardiovascular risk management. Uh, certainly some of the credit goes to better, um, sort of better technologies in general around uh, cardiovascular risk reduction. Um, but I do think um, that these GLP-1 receptor agonists and now the SGLT2 inhibitors have meaningful cardiovascular benefits. And people are living longer. Um, you know, more of my patients are losing weight than gaining weight, I think, because we're relying on these drugs uh, more and more. And I have to believe that that's part of the benefit uh, of this approach. Um, is weight loss instead of uh, weight gain and lesser risk of hypoglycemia or no hypoglycemia. Um, so it's, uh, it's been a great uh, 20 years uh, with the GLP-1 receptor agonist class uh, for me in my practice. Almost all of our patients with type 2 diabetes, with very rare exception, especially here in the southeast, are overweight or obese. Almost every one of my patients with type 2 diabetes could benefit from weight loss. Most of the agents we had in the past that we gave patients with type 2 diabetes caused weight gain. And almost all of our patients could use weight loss. So TZDs, thiazolidinediones, like pioglitazone, insulin, sulfonylureas, all tend to cause weight gain. It is wonderful to have a couple of, of classes of agents that have that non-glycemic benefit of weight reduction. And in my experience, almost all of my patients on a GLP-1 receptor agonist will lose some weight. I think the problem, you just don't want to overpromise it to the patients. If you tell a patient you're going to lose 20 pounds and they lose 8, they're disappointed. If you tell them you have the chance to lose some weight, then some weight is a benefit. And we've all seen patients who don't lose any weight. We've seen patients who lose 8 to 10 pounds. And we have those whole wow moments where they've lost 20 to 25 pounds. And it's hard to predict who's going to be in that really robust weight loss um, category. So my message would be don't overpromise the weight loss, but it's wonderful when patients come in and they're proud of themselves. And not only is their A1C down, but they're losing weight. And I'll tell you this, in a lot of cases, I think some of these patients have struggled so much with weight loss and have failed so many times that when they start to see that they're actually losing weight for the first time, it really kicks in and motivates them for the very first time. Well, what if... I do what Dr. Anderson says and I actually go to the gym or I start a walking program. What if I actually try to eliminate some of the carbohydrates from my diet? So I have seen patients where this has kick-started better behaviors. So when we choose our agent, we primarily look at their glycemic level, where they are currently and where we want them to go. The weight loss is that added benefit and patients really, really appreciate this. And uh, the exact opposite happens when they are started on an agent that can promote weight gain. And we see this, for example, when we start insulin therapy. Patients get frustrated when their weight goes up. Even if their glucose is going down, they get frustrated with weight gain because weight itself is its own independent risk factor for multiple comorbidities. So what we've seen um, in care is when patients start losing weight, or when we see that the agent we use is, helps make them feel empowered that they can start to lose weight, it, it goes hand in hand with their overall care.